again, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in here. I hope that everything's going well for you as you uh, move about your weekend. Look, I don't plan on being too long here, but I just want to take some time between all the things that I do and all the things that I have going on and all the challenges I'm facing to first and foremost encourage you in the midst of everything you're going through. Yes, you're probably going through some difficult times if you are like most of us. Um, for those of you who aren't, awesome. Keep pushing, keep the focus, keep your mental uh, and spiritual momentum moving towards what it is that you decide that you believe is what you need to be doing this year and don't quit until you achieve it. Um, I want to take a brief moment just to talk to you. Look, whatever it is you are facing, it's a moment. Your destiny is going to be contingent upon how you handle moments like the one you're in right now. Whether you're in a good place or a bad place, how you handle that moment or the moment you're in right now, the situation you're in right now, the circumstances you're going through right now, how you handle it, it's going to have a massive impact on your destiny. It is not circumventing the struggles of life. It's not getting around them. It's not having some freeway path uh, that leads to success that allows you to get around anything. That's not how this works. This works by having a level of commitment that simply refuses to acquiesce to the moment, that simply refuses to bow down to the pressures and the frustrations of life because they're coming. I don't care how much success you've experienced at this point, at some point you're gonna face what seems to be an insurmountable force. You're gonna have to know how to focus and deal with it. It's not who you know, it's good to know people, it's not what you know, it's good to know stuff. It's about how much you know yourself. It's about how much you're committed to being the best version of yourself that you can be. Uh, it's, it's about knowing who you are at the depths beyond what is seen or heard by others, but what you know deep down inside. It's about being directly connected to your own divine nature, to understand that there's something inside of you that's bigger than the moment, that there's something inside of you that's bigger than the struggle, there's something inside of you that's bigger than the pressure. You have got to have a sense of self that reminds you of just how awesome you are. And I'm not saying this in that little cheap, uh, motivational speak away. I'm talking about inside of you, there's something there. And life has a way of knocking it out of you. Life has a way of hiding it from you. Life has a way of suppressing it within you. Uh, some of us have went through some things in childhood that we're still struggling with. Some of us went through some things as teenagers. Some of us went through things in re romantic relationships, marriages that took a lot from us and stole a part of us, the part of us that we need to become reacquainted to and reacquainted with. It's our responsibility to not accept the worst of ourselves, but to be honest with ourselves and know that there's something better inside. It's our responsibility to wake up every day and say, I'm gonna get the best out of myself. I don't care what happens today, I'm gonna get the best out of myself. Some days it's gonna be awesome, some days I'm gonna get my butt kicked, but I will not leave anything on the table. I will not leave anything on the field. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna do everything in my life that I can do. Now, let me explain to you, I've said a lot, but let me explain to you how this is done. You have to reconstruct your self-image. How you deal with the world is directly uh, based on how you see yourself, your self-image, your self-concept. If you see yourself as poverty, being your lot in life, that a person that's just meant to be poor, if you see yourself as unintelligent, if you see yourself as average, if you see yourself as mediocre at best, your performances in life will reflect that. If, but if you start to see the greatness in yourself, not because of something you've done already, 
but because of the ideas that you can entertain in your mind of what life would be like if. If you can conceive it in your mind, it's possible. If you can conceive it in your mind, that's God's evidence that you're capable of doing it. The fact that it's there tells you it's possible. Now the question becomes, are you prepared and committed to go the distance? Are you willing to invest in yourself at a level that will allow you to achieve the things that you are entertaining in your mind? It's not that it's impossible. It's that you haven't committed to going the distance yet. It's, it's, it's that you want to continue doing what you're doing while getting what you want. And see, life isn't about what you want. It's about what you, what you become. If it's something you want to do and you haven't been able to do it, it's because you haven't become the person capable. It's not that you can't be that person. It simply means that you have not yet become that person. What does that mean? You need to grow. You need to connect with people who know how to do it. You need to uh, develop the capacity to do it intellectually, spiritually, emotionally, physically. All the things that it's going to take to take you to the next level. You've got to get to a point where you are moving towards your best self and as you move towards your best self the things that you are capable to do will consistently and constantly open up for you it's not about impossibility it's about commitment you have to be committed to go the distance that's why you always hear me say I'm on, I live my life on full so that when I leave this place I will die on E doesn't mean I win every day doesn't mean I get uh, everything right. I'm human like anybody else. The difference is I don't have an off switch. I don't have a quit button. I don't have a give up button. I keep pushing until I get it. And I'm challenging you to do the same thing. Whatever it is in your life that you desire to do, desire to be, desire to have, start moving toward it. Write the goal down. Make it real plain. Make it real specific. Write it down. Put it in pictures if you can. Put it where you can see it constantly. Write it down on a card. Put it in your wallet. Put it on put it on poster boards on your wall somewhere. Uh, put it in pictures on your phone. Make it your wallpaper on your phone, on your laptop, on your tablet, on your computer. Make it a visual reminder of the expectations you have on your life and all of the things associated with it. And then you got to make it happen. Now, before I get off, for those of you who want to be a part of something and you want to get started, I still have a special one right now to work with people and anybody who wants to be a part of this can be a part of if you seriously want to. Um, I don't normally have programs that come in at this range, but I want to work with people who wouldn't normally get a chance to work with me. Click the link down there and join in on this three session rapid change breakthrough program. My rapid change sessions are normally $350 each. I'm doing three right now for $150. I got 15 more slots. Five people have already slide, signed up since I started this. I said I had room for 20 people. I got 15 more. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and sign up. Come in. If you're seriously committed, I promise you, you will experience something. You will uh, start the process of achieving massive change in your life in three sessions I promise you you won't come in you won't leave the same way you came in that I can promise you so go ahead click that link let's get moving let's get started I look forward to working with you but you've got to be committed to being your best self on that note I'm out of here